Yeah, hello everyone. So I'm um, filling in for uh, our team leader who had to leave early. So, um, and I missed the introduction presentation. So I hope it's clear what our project will, uh, is aiming to do. Um, so we have like a interactive city planning app, which um, uh, uh, promotes a public participation of the local population. And so the idea is you can have a proposal uh, that uh, you want to uh, propose to like a city planning area. And uh, our example is uh, Guangdu uh, district in Taipei. So uh, you can see here there's a lot of potential for development. And um, uh, today we try to um, actually transfer our uh, original idea into a web application uh, using modern web development tools. So this is like um, allowing you to uh, place a marker and uh, there's like some uh, problem because of the cloud hosting we're using but this is like a pin that you can uh, place here and for example you can uh, create a proposal for a, a new uh, u-bike uh, oh yeah and you can type Chinese or English but uh, yeah, let's say you want to use uh, like here to ride a new U-bike and then you can say uh, uh, because uh, uh, yeah, like for some reasons to uh, explain why the U-bikes are missing here uh, is a uh, nice uh, tourist <laughs> uh, spot and then you can uh, uh, submit the proposal and um, so far, we uh, actually uh, only created this front end, so uh, this part is missing where you actually sent the proposal to the database. Um, uh, but we already have like a little upvote button where you can see like, uh, uh, yeah, like uh, how many votes uh, this will get. Of course, if you can vote a hundred times yourself, that's not really fair. So we have to add user authentication as well, so that like every user gets one vote. And um, if you pass a certain threshold, uh, the idea is to pass the uh, proposal to the city government. Uh, uh, yeah, and um, so uh, it's just like a sort of example of what uh, uh, open source website uh, could could do uh, to uh, open it up for the public uh, to participate in city planning uh, and uh, so uh, we also just try to explore new uh, development tools that are available for web developers so it was our first time to use like a Vercel to um, host the front end and um, uh, we were starting this part on a previous hackathon <laughs> and now we got it to work. So, uh, yeah, I can uh, just uh, recommend this uh, uh, web uh, framework for like a uh, front, uh, front end hosted in the cloud. Um, there are some like uh, little hurdles we had like to uh, uh, connect different um, uh, uh, how to call it, like subdomains uh, and uh, so that right now we have only one website with the main domain uh, we couldn't uh, split it up into different sites and uh, as you can see like icons are also broken so those are little uh, things we have to learn about <laughs> um, uh, cloud hosting but um, uh, so uh, far it's been a, a great learning experience and we hope to continue this uh, project uh, on a future hackathon. Thank you. Oh.